Gentlemen, as former leaders and two current heads of nations, it is imperative that you understand the new science revolving around the multiverse and alternate realities. Several heads of our various engineering departments were able to fashion a device that will allow you to jump between said realities. Using the terminal beside me and standing on the panels that you're on right now, we can initiate a jump to a parallel universe. In short, you will be pioneers in an age of incredulous scientific innovation. Maybe there's a parallel universe where 140,000 ballots didn't magically appear in Wisconsin overnight. Oh, come on, Donnie. Are we seriously still doing this? Quiet, ballot stuffer. Guys, act your age. We're honored to be here, Elon. It is incredibly important that you realize that you do not have any metal on your bodies whatsoever before undergoing the initial jump. Uh, what if one has metal on their body? Like fused to bone? Uh, no. It is superficial. So a piercing, then? Yes, that is what we will call it. A piercing. Can't you just remove it? Uh, it's in an undisclosed region. That is quite painful and difficult to remove if you are catching what I'm pitching. Y you know what? I think it'll be fine. Just leave it in. Elon, is it necessary to remove metal each time we make a jump? Nope. You only need to do it for the first jump. Every subsequent jump is fine to have metal on your person. Why is that, Elon? Makes it easier to edit. What? I said, the subatomic particles conform to the initial transitional jump. They are thus adapted for each subsequent jump and no longer bear the unstable risk of destabilizing during transit. Ah, okay, that's what I thought I heard. This piercing is kind of large, guys. Are you sure I'll be okay? Let me make this absolutely clear. Do not, I repeat, do not shoot or kill anything you come into contact with unless absolutely necessary. Do not engage in confrontational situations or invoke provoking circumstances. Why the hell is everyone looking at me? I get along with everybody. I possess tremendous social skills, one of the best in our nation. Everyone is saying it. Just out of curiosity, Elon, why? Will it somehow destabilize our own reality? Well, no. But you don't want unwanted consequences in the realities you visit, do you? Individuals, communities, and societies, there will bear the impact of your visit long after you're gone. I always put America first, Elon. I don't care about foreign entities. Okay, but this isn't foreign countries we're talking about. This is literal entire alternate universes. Don't care. I can tell this is already a mistake. Don't worry, Elon. I'll keep this egomaniac in check. He is the beta to my alpha. What the hell? This here is a hollow pad. It summarizes the location, time period, and reality you are currently in. If you have any questions about where you are, it's best to refer to this device rather than confronting the natives. Like we said, we don't want any undesired consequences. In addition, it also can allow you to jump between realities. If you decide you're bored and want to visit the next location, just press the button in the center. George, I hear you are a TikTok influencer. Four million followers and counting. Sounds like you're tech savvy. You'll be in charge of the hollow pad, George. Something to note. Once you make a jump, there will be a 15 minute interval where you cannot make another jump. Uh, Elon, shouldn't Kim also be in TK armor? Uh, I don't feel like his anime cosplay will protect him against much if we run into trouble. I'll die before I accept your American hand-me-downs. These are category six realities, so you should be fine. Meaning what? Category six realities are the safest realities you can jump to. Even a child could go through them unsupervised. Category 1 realities, on the other hand, consist of extremely hostile and unstable environments. Only our highly trained field agents and veteran operatives have the clearance to engage in jumps to those realities. You've been to these Category 1 realities yourself, Elon? I have. They are nightmarish realms saturated in volatility. To venture into these realities is to risk being imperiled. So trust me when I say that you can ditch the armor and the guns. Donald told us we had to wear it. You don't. No way I'm ditching this. It reminds me of a Nerf gun. You know, back in my day, Beetle Breaker Benny and I would load up some Nerf guns and shoot them at old Principal Willingham. Uh, of course, this was back when you had to enter an actual beehive and propose to the queen bee herself in order to get the morning syrup needed for your ego waffles. Um, oh, okay, maybe you guys should actually undergo a cognitive evaluation to assess if you're fit enough to make these jumps? Listen, Elon, just answer me one question. What is it? Do we look badass? Well, yes, you kind of do. Then we're keeping it. Fine. So here are your destinations, gentlemen. Jump one will take you to a reality where instead of migrating onto land, all fish decided to stay at sea. This caused them to evolve into mermen instead of primates. But don't worry, they're friendly. Just so long as they're there legally. Well, you would actually be the foreigners in this case, Donald. I will teach them the lesson of manifest destiny. Yeah, don't do that. The second jump will take you to a reality where only fans removed its adult content so that it could become sponsor-friendly. Oh, what the hell? What? Bummer. Why the fuck would we want to go there? The third jump will send you to a dinner banquet with Putin. 
In this reality, he is a close ally of the United States and is even a part of NATO. Uh, can we scratch that one off the list, actually? If word gets out I had any dealings with Russia, those bastards at CNN will never let me live it down. Fine, we'll remove that one then. Hmm. What the hell? This isn't right. What is it? There's another jump listed on here. One to a reality where Epstein's island is still up and running. Why the hell are you all looking at me? I didn't put that in. Yeah, you're not going there. All right, gentlemen, prepare for initial jump. All metal items, including that katana, goes in this box here. Remember, you only need to do this for the initial jump. Gosh, I'm so excited. For once, I agree with you, Joe. Launch commencing in three. This is history in the making, gentlemen. Two. I'm so nervous about my piercing. Wait, something isn't right. George, use the holopad to abort the jump. You said jump? All right, jumping now. Shit, this is not good. Wow, nothing like some interdimensional travel to get the old pacemaker up and running. I don't think that's good, Joe. Where the hell's Kim? Uh, over here. Kim, are you all right over there? Yeah, just, I should have removed my piercing is all. Just give me a minute to catch my breath and get my katana. Where the hell are we? I was looking forward to meeting those mermen so that I could teach them in the ways of imperialistic expansion. I was looking forward to sushi. Well, looks like you two are both going to have to put that on the back burner for now. We're in a reality where the asteroid that rendered the dinosaurs extinct 66 million years ago never landed. Wait, so that means... Guys. I think that one is eyeing your stomach, Donald. He might try to eat you. Kim, you idiot, that's an herbivore. Holy shit. Well, this is no merman indoctrination, but it comes as a close second, I must say. As beautiful as this is, I don't think we should linger here. It might not be entirely safe. Hey, guys, anyone care for some scrambled eggs? Joe, where did you get that? Well, I can tell you that it wasn't from Denny's, you silly goose. Joe, seriously, where did you get that? Relax, guys. I just took a look around, and while I was strolling about, I saw a bunch of twigs and leaves bundling around this tiny feller here. Didn't see anyone's name on it, so I decided to pick it up. You know what they say? It's never too late for breakfast. Oh, fiddlesticks. Holy fuck. Move, Joe! Donnie, put that down. Remember, the slightest action could snowball disastrous effects. Who cares? It's a damned raptor. This does not seem like a Category 6 reality. George, how long until we can jump? One minute. Don't shoot, Donnie. I have this. Hey there, little fella. I'm sorry if old Uncle Joe disturbed your nest. I didn't know, Junior. Here belonged to you. Now, it's true I was going to crack him open on that boulder over there and let the unrelenting sun scorch his embryo until he became over easy. But the important thing is I'm returning him to you now because it's the right thing to do. He's going to get himself killed. Fuck it, I'm readying my blaster. Wait, Donald, look. Oh, see, now that's a good critter. Bye-bye, little friend. What a wonderful puppy that was. Joey, that was a fucking raptor. A fucking what? You just cuddled a raptor, Joseph. You indeed were hugging a raptor, Joe. You all just allowed me to go up and cuddle next to a raptor? Are you guys insane? These eyes don't work like they used to, you know. You gotta warn me of that shit. Joe, what kind of puppy lays an egg? It's been a while since I took Bio 101. All right, we're good to jump now. Hopefully the next reality is the one that we're actually supposed to go to. This doesn't look like the reality we were supposed to go to. Oh my God. Where the hell are we now? My guess, a blue state for sure. Something tells me this place is not where Elon meant to send us. What's wrong with it? It looks exactly like North Korea, a utopia of wonders. I don't know if utopia is the word I'd use. People are starving and suffering in the streets. All cogs must spin to fuel the war machine, Barack. Jesus. What is it, George? This is a reality where Donnie lost the 2016 presidential election to Hillary. Well, I could have told you that. Look at the poster over there. Holy fuck, I saved these people from an evil they never even knew was coming. Can we talk about that poster, though? I mean, come on, what kind of Instagram filters is she using? Yeah, I agree with you there, Joseph. Must be some sort of blemish removal or something. A de-aging app, maybe? Well, let's see. Elon's holopad also has an Ultra HD camera lens that will strip away any editing filter used on that poster if I zoom in on it. Hi, Georgie. Kim, can you please move? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry. Fucking catfish. Weird. I always thought she'd be a lizard under all that makeup. I mean, I'd still hit, so I don't really know what you guys are on about. Kim, what the fuck? Cougars are my downfall, Donald. I mean, surely it can't be all bad, right? Let's go find a Sizzler's and think about this over some hot grub. Hillary dismantled the restaurant chain across the nation. Hillary, you fiend! It gets worse, gentlemen. 
Under her term, the United States ceased to exist. What do you mean, ceased to exist? Well, it's now called the sovereign hierarchy. Democracy is dead. In its place, the Clintons rule the people with an iron fist, literally. If they speak out of term or fail to toe the line, massive robots, strangely resembling Terminators, are sent into... Oh, shit. Sent into what? To silence them, Joe. I'll tell you this for certain. North Korea, in this reality, must have an unbreakable alliance with the sovereign hierarchy. We'd get along better than Liu Kang and Raiden from Mortal Kombat. Kim, Liu Kang was killed by Raiden in multiple timelines. Wait, uh, are you actually being serious? North Korea was also given the Liu Kang treatment by the sovereign hierarchy two years ago. That's it! I won't stand for these atrocities. We gotta help these poor people suffering. In his own weird way, Kim's right. We can't let these people carry on like this. Look, I hear you guys, but they have ground control, air support, and I assume most of the people had their armaments stripped away. Donnie's right. The only thing we can do is wait out the 15 minutes and try to jump back to Elon. Hey, you! Stop right there. It's presidential candidate Trump, Vice President Biden, and former presidents Obama and Bush Jr. I also think that's a Panda Express manager with them. Mr. Chang, how could you betray me? Arrest them. Enemy designation found. Fuck. So much for waiting it out. What the fuck? Who the hell is Mr. Chang? This is not good. Elon told us not to engage in situations like these. Fuck that. These people are suffering. American people. I'm taking down as many as I can until we can jump out of here. Joe, you with me? This is for fucking Sizzlers, Hillary, you crooked bitch. This is for North Korea. Oh, wait, never mind. I don't have a gun. Mr. Chang, the fortune cookie you gave me told me to be wary of those you regard as friends. But I never thought you'd be the one to betray me. Keep that bastard talking, Kim. I have him in my sights. I don't know who the fuck Mr. Chang is. I'll miss your broccoli beef. Mr. Presidents, get down. Let loose the javelins. Who the fuck is that? Firing! That's for all the Americans you tormented, Bill. That's for all the sizzlers you closed down. Mr. President, are you all right? Yes, thank you for your help, but who are you? My name is Admiral Anderson, and we are the Resistance. People determined to fight against the injustice brought on by the Clinton's totalitarian regime. You're the leader of this Resistance? Me? No, not at all. I'm responsible for various rebel networks and cells across our nation. However, the ones to give rise to this rebellion, well, it was you. You two, Vice President Biden and Mr. Trump. Wait, we founded the resistance? That's right. Well, this universe's version of you, that is. And me? Was I a part of the resistance? Of course! Panda Express proved to be a true ally of the resistance, supplying us with food and water whenever our movement required it to. You have my thanks, Mr. Chang. I am not Mr. Chang. Sir, we have movement! Admiral, we have F-35 Global Cyber Raptors en route. You all need to leave now. Radio in Mr. Trump and Mr. Biden. You all need to evac before their air support arrives. What about you? We can't leave you. Don't worry about us. We have been fighting the regime long before you arrived and will continue the fight long after you leave. Now go. My men will cover you. Donnie, get back here. The Clintons have air support coming in. We have to make our jump while we still can. Negative, George. I got a visual on Bill. He's still alive. Fuck. How much do we got to throw at this guy for him to stay down? Mr. Chang... Your orange chicken may be delicious, but your betrayal has left a wound on me that will forever scar. Fuck's sakes, I am not Mr. Chang. Establish a perimeter. Any and all partisan activity ends here. Today. If I crown him this time, it should put him down for good. Negative, Donnie. Regroup with us now. It's the last chance we'll have for a jump. Enemy units pinpointed. Oh, shit. I I don't think I'm going to make it back to you, boys. Get Joe and make the jump without me. Donald, where are you? It's been a wild ride, gentlemen. Oh, uh, well, at least I took some of these bastards with me. Donnie, come in. What are you waiting for? Get it over with you, piece of scrap metal. Well, fuck me. Looks like this sword is made from the metals of an asteroid. My generals weren't lying after all. Hot damn. Thanks, Kim. Joe, we're leaving. Rendezvous at the designated coordinates. Take away my sizzlers. See what happens. Eat laser, you Viet Cong bastards. Uh, is he usually like that? He hasn't taken his meds today. Joe, form up. We're leaving. Roger, I'm on my way. Thank you for all your help, Admiral. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. And we wouldn't be here if not for your counterparts. Safe journey, gentlemen. Also, give Elon my regards. Godspeed, Anderson. Wait, he knows Elon? One last thing. I am not Mr. Chang. Yes, I agree. No one makes Mandarin chicken like you do, Mr. Chang. Fuck's sakes. Jumping now. Farewell, gentlemen. Live to fight another day. Live to fight another day. Finally, home sweet home. I'll say I've had enough of those realities for one day.
Mr. President, thank God you finally made it back. What the hell happened, Elon? I thought you said we were going to Category 6 realities. There was some sort of anomaly in the network. By the time I detected it, George had unfortunately initiated the jump. The only reason you managed to return here is that I managed to recalibrate the system. Anomaly is not the word I'd use, spaceman. We almost died out there. Indeed. I was able to monitor when and where you made your jumps from the terminal beside me. So you saw the reality where all the sizzlers were decommissioned? Oh, the horror. Yes. My team and I have led multiple operations there in an effort to aid the resistance in their war against the sovereign hierarchy. Needless to say, I did not intend to send any of you there. Not today, at least. What do you mean, not today? Well, today was supposed to be a training day. Dip your toes in the water, test out interdimensional jumping. Then perhaps after a few more sessions, I planned on briefing you on that reality. You saw the horror. Anderson and I need your help in order to topple the regime. What happened to avoiding confrontations to avert undesired consequences, Elon? This is an exception. We have reason to believe the Clintons of that reality might not be too far behind from unlocking interdimensional jumps. If that happens... Then our reality's North Korea will also receive the Liu Kang treatment. Those imperialist pigs! When will their hunger for power and lust for militaristic expansion ever be satiated? Going back to the anomaly, Elon, do you think it's just a random blip in the system? Unknown. We're still trying to work that out. Name any day or time, Elon, and I'll be suited up and ready to go back there. Wow, Donald. What happened to not caring about other realities? Americans from other universes are still Americans, Barack. Also, I have some lasers with Bill and Crooked Hillary's name on them. Hmm. Maybe it was the right call to bring you boys here. Come on, let's get to the mess hall. I have your favorite snack on hand, Joe. Ooh, is it? Yes, Joe, a chocolate chip cliff bar. Do you also have? Yes, we also have ice cream. Oh, wow. Hooray. Visual scan confirmation.